Since you've clicked on this video, I know you've got that spark inside you, which is the curiosity to create cool tech projects. But maybe you're a little confused about where to begin, right? Don't worry, just follow along with me. I've put together a simple, practical, and effective plan that takes you from absolute basics to building some really awesome projects. All you need is to watch this series with your brain switched on. In this very first video, we'll cover the essential concepts you must know before making anything. In the next video, we'll jump straight into building your first project using those concepts. And step by step, you'll develop the right mindset and skills to design any tech project. This skill is going to be a game changer for your future. It's the same interesting skill that helped me win many STEM competitions and boosted my profile a lot. And now it's your turn. My way of teaching isn't going to be like the 99.9% .9 boring yappers out there. I'll be using a unique and proven approach that focuses on something way more important than just dumping information, building your project design aptitude. Read this small flowchart, bro, or sis, whoever you are and you will get it, if you have senses. Let's come to common terms first. I'm assuming that you're already familiar with the very basics of electronics, like lighting an LED, switches, cell, battery, and resistors. If the obvious yes, then we are good to go to begin with the building block of all smart devices, the transistor. I don't want you to get stuck in semiconductor physics, and that's why I'll just give you a brief about transistors and ICs, and then we will start with microcontrollers from where the main thing starts. A transistor is basically a tiny electronic switch that can take a small signal and use it to control a much larger signal. That simple idea is what makes it so powerful. Now, instead of working with single transistors, engineers combine thousands or even millions of them into a single chip which we call an IC, or integrated circuit. Think of it like a ready-made mini circuit that already knows how to do a specific job. For example, there are ICs for amplifying sound, for controlling motors, for memory storage, and for doing math at lightning speed. And when you combine millions of these transistors and ICs together, you get something even smarter, a microcontroller. And that's where the real fun begins, because microcontrollers are what we'll use to actually build our projects. A microcontroller is basically a tiny computer on a single chip. Inside it, there's a brain, the processor, a little bit of memory, and special pins that allow it to interact with various input and output devices. For example, you can connect sensors to it to measure different parameters like temperature, motion, or light, and then connect outputs like LEDs, motors, or buzzers, or even displays and program the microcontroller to react the way you want. Microcontrollers come in different sizes according to their use cases. For learning and making projects, we will start with microcontrollers like Arduino, ESP32, ESP2666, and the Raspberry Pi. Microcontrollers are everywhere around you. They're inside your microwave, your washing machine, your smartwatch, even in cars and drones. Basically, any smart device you see around has a microcontroller hidden inside. My goal is to teach you something truly beneficial and to make it exciting along the way. This was the introductory video of our series. Don't miss the other upcoming bangers. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out. Subscribe to make it think for more updates. A fun and engaging DIY tech community is on the way.